Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Banjo-Kazooie. Today we are going to be tackling Freezy Peak, which is the next level. So I'm just going to, oh, try and kill these guys. And I'm going to show you guys first of all how to actually open Freezy Peak. It is quite easy. Uh, kill these guys, anyway. Uh, I got a new Nintendo controller, so yeah, the stick is quite... Um, not as loose as you would imagine so yeah I'm just getting used to that anyway here we are so I think we have to go up here and we'll get, first of all we're going to be opening Freezy Peak which is uh, done by putting on these boots and heading through here so we're going to head behind Bubble Bloop Swamp I think jumping is actually faster, I'm not really sure, but I feel like it is a little bit. Maybe not, I don't know. Now we should just about make it in time. There we are, plenty of time, excellent. Well, this is the jigsaw for Bubble Swamp. Uh, sorry, Freezy Peak. I'm gonna go up here. And yeah, it's quite slippy. Jump on here, I'm gonna press Z to finish the puzzle. Okay, very nice. And that's open Freezy Peak. Maybe get a few of these eggs, I don't really know. Uh, we'll need some eggs eventually. Um, so we're going to have to get back out of here, aren't we? Well, the way to do that is there is some boots up here. Oh, if I can just get them. Otherwise you will just get hurt trying to get out of here. So I believe the boots will only take you so far. They won't last as long as the ones that we just used. So you have to be careful there. Uh, let's just see if we can jump. Keep jumping banjo. Oh, I think we're going to get hurt. Oh, no, we didn't. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, we managed to get out of there. And then I'm going to show you guys how to actually get to Freezy Peak. Um... So Freezy Peak, probably one of the most enjoyable levels in this game, it is like a snowy level. Uh, which is, It's got a lot of fun little things you can do. There's like a race with a walrus and you can go sledging or stuff like that. It's pretty, it's pretty really fun actually. So we're going to head back down here and this is why it's so important that you open note doors. Or you get enough notes to open the note doors anyway. We'll head up here. We can get up there, nice. Uh, there is some health over there actually, I am going to get that because I don't have full health. Uh, now I do. I didn't have full health before, I promise. I think anyway. There we are, right. I'm going to jump up here, through this note door. Great stuff. And this will take us through to the next area. We have Gobi's Valley. We have Freezy Peak. Uh, let's see, I don't really remember which way Freezy Peak is, so let's just have a look around, basically. Uh, through here, yes it is, yeah, this is the way. Uh, so them enemies are actually a higher level now, but we don't need to deal with them just yet. So this here, if we just have a quick look up, this is Freezy Peak and there is some stuff up there that we are going to be getting but not to later on and it's quite icy around here as well so we'll have to be careful and here we are guys so this is Freezy Peak and it's got a new move waiting for us to learn if we can find it So, the first thing we're going to do is head over to this house here and we'll be met with a couple of walrus, I believe they're walrus anyway, and they're uh, saying that their dad isn't home and he's been gone ages. So, as you might guess, we're going to have to do something about that. There's three presents to get in this level, as well as Jinjo's. And some other cool stuff. There's not really much behind here. We'll just have a look. I think there might be a token or something. Is it not? No. Okay, well, there's some eggs anyway. We're going to need some eggs. And maybe a gold feather or two. Yeah. 
great stuff. Gold feathers are always good. Obviously, our invincibility feathers. And we're gonna head down here, get all the notes. You can just slide down there, but I just want a bit of better control. And he's gonna say the stomach hurts naturally. I don't, can't really remember why. We do need a lot of silver feathers for this mission. We can only get 50, so you know, we'll just leave them, I guess. Oh, I missed a note there. Look at that. Nice. Cool. So we have them notes. So the first kind of jiggy I'm gonna get. I hope I can do this first time. So what we have to do is stand on top of this box and we're gonna pound it and that will start the uh, little mini game. So we're gonna ground pound this. This is probably the hardest jigsaw piece to get, I would say anyway, because there's quite a lot you have to do in order to get it. Uh, we're gonna use the rat tat tat attack, I believe it's called, so. Oh yeah, it's destroyed that one. There we are, there's one rescued. And the objective here is to basically rescue ten of them. There we are, so it's going pretty well so far. I will lose a few of them, but uh, it's inevitable, I think. And I think this is probably the best I've ever done, actually, at this. Oh, missed him. Oh no, I got him. Good. There's only three left to rescue. And that should just about do it. Assuming I don't mess that up. Yep, we've done it. And yeah, that's it. Mission complete. Okay, this next bit. Um, we're gonna have to shoot eggs at the switch, as you might have guessed. Oh, first of all, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Because these guys are quite annoying. Uh, as you can see, yeah, when you're shooting eggs, they might try and hit you. You don't want that. I'll get all these notes before we do anything else. This next section, what we're gonna have to do is shoot eggs at the switch, and then we find a flying pad and fly through the Christmas tree three times. And uh, yeah, it's quite difficult. So one thing I just want to mention quickly, um, I have already tried to record this, but then I had recording issues. So my jigsaw pieces and honeycomb pieces in the top left hand corner there, uh, I forgot to reset them back to what they should be, which is 44 jigsaw pieces and 13 honeycomb pieces. So yeah, if you were confused about how suddenly got loads of extra ones, it's because I was already trying to film this earlier and I had an issue so I had to start again. Anyway, we have to go to the flying pad, which is up here somewhere. Yep, there it is. And we're gonna fly. Good stuff. Let's go, Banjo. I always find it quite hard to control um, flying, to be honest. Not sure why. I've always had a problem with it. So there's one through here. And then we'll spin back round. And see if we can go through here again. Yep, that's number two. You only have to fly through one more time, and uh, yeah, this jigsaw piece is actually quite a lot to do just for one jiggy, you know. So that reveals the jigsaw piece to us. Great stuff. So while we're at it, I'm just gonna quickly try. Oh no, I can't because I haven't learned the attack yet. I'm sorry. Uh, there's an attack you can learn, but I haven't learned it yet, so let's. Uh, Let's get out of the air, I'll probably hurt. Oh, it didn't, yeah, it did, okay, that's fine. That doesn't matter too much. So, now we're gonna have to go inside the Christmas tree. Nice, and there should be a token here as well. One more token, great stuff. Climb up the tree. And there's a present there we can get. I'm gonna get the jigsaw piece first. Just in case I fall down, then I can just get the present anyway. Just fly across here. There we are. That's the first jigsaw on this level, and it should be jigsaw 45. So now that we've got that, I'm just gonna carefully, if I can, 
fall down here. Don't want the feathers. Well, we do want a few feathers, but the main thing I'm after at the minute is the notes. And obviously the present. Very important. We'll get all the notes. Because, like I say, we are going for 100. Uh, jump down. We'll get the first present. Nice. And then we can get out of here because we don't need to be in here anymore. Great stuff. Okay, so that's Jigsaw at number one. I think for the next one I'm probably going to try and go for. It's a little bit hard. Um, but it's really quite fun if you can get it down really. So we're going to learn a new flying ability here. It's a bombie attack. And yeah, he tops up your energy as well, sweet. Learned all the moves on this world as well. Very nice. Okay, this move, it's very difficult actually to get the aiming right. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. So we'll give this a try. Oh! Yeah, right, let's see how to do this. Already forgotten how to do it, is it B? Could be B. Yeah, so I missed that time, let me try again. And I missed that time as well. Third time I missed. Yeah. There we are, we got on that time. And that really reveals a mumbo token, which is pretty sweet. There's one here we need to get. There's two, and there's a witch switch, which uh, we'll get in a little bit. So yeah, leave a like for the third attempt on the first snow man. There we are, there's another one down. It's actually going pretty well, it's better than it normally goes anyway. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, missed, missed, that would cost me, yeah. That cost me. Uh, right, that's good. We'll have to make it back to a flying pad. I believe there might be one over here somewhere. Possibly, if there isn't, uh, that's fine. No, there isn't. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So while we're down here, we might as well get um, mumbo tokens and hit that um, grunty switch and then we can go back and get the rest of them so let's see, oh we need some red feathers as well obviously there we are and this will reveal the hidden jiggy in the outer world which is just up there yeah. and what looks like a kind of Christmas calendar kind of thing it's got the whole Christmassy kind of vibe going to at this level. Obviously, the Christmas tree and the calendar and stuff. It's a shame that Mumbo isn't dressed as Santa because that would be everything. But never mind. So I'm going to go finish this jiggy anyway. Uh, we'll leave the Jinjo and stuff to later on. Let's see, where are we going? There is a jigsaw piece, another one you can do with flying, but I'm going to take out these snowmen first. As yeah, they can be quite annoying later on if you don't take care of them. Let's try. There we are. How many more is left? There's the one I missed over here. Let's see if we get close enough. Should be able to do it from there. Nice. There we are. And that's revealed the jigsaw piece, but it's encased in ice. I think you can just smash the ice, I'm not really sure. But while I'm flying, I think we'll try and get another jigsaw piece, if I'm right anyway. I don't exactly remember, but I know that pressing these buttons does something. So let's give this a try. Uh, apparently you have to hit them dead on, so yeah, lessons learned. Use a lot of uh, red feathers in this mission as well, so be careful. Right, this looks like the first one. Got it, great stuff. There's two. 
And that reveals another jigsaw piece down there. So while we're flying, I'll just fly right up to the top. There's a few more jigsaw pieces I can get later on. There's a present up there as well, as you can see. Uh, but I'm just going to use my feathers to get up here. Oh, there we are. Uh, this guy. And that's our second jigsaw piece. Okay, so let's use a few more. Kill these guys. Won't bother getting the health because, yeah, obviously. Uh, right, we're going to have to be very careful here. I use Kazooie's Talon Trot to slowly walk around and get all the notes. There is two more jigsaw pieces we can get immediately. There's the one between the snowman's legs and there's one we get for doing a um, sledging thing, which I'm actually going to do first because the one between the snowman's legs isn't going anywhere. So. Not really concerned about that. Let's see if we can get down here safely. And we can, excellent. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do now is drop down this hole. Because there was a present down here as well. Nice, that's present number two. Um I believe. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. I was gonna say I believe there's some more notes up here, but oh wait, there is there is a few notes in the So we'll jump down here go around and get many notes and feathers if we can actually because we're extremely low on feathers now I've noticed uh, but there is plenty more in this level oh, we don't really need many more to be truthful so there is a Jinjo over there I'll go back and get him later right now we're gonna jump on this token nice there's our next jigsaw piece. Great stuff. And here's the next jigsaw. Very nice. So our next jigsaw piece is pretty obvious, uh, we've already been there. So I should probably mention, like I don't think you can actually get all 10 jigsaw pieces um, in this world in your first visit because it's something to do, with, oh there's jigsaw number 4 sorry. Yeah, it's something to do with like a, one of the races. There's like two races on this world. Yeah, you win the first one as the walrus, and then the second one, I believe you have to have like some boot, like shoes or something, um, which we don't have access to until another level. I believe it's Mad Monster Mansion you get those, but yeah, it is Mad Monster Mansion. Sure it is. So there's another present. I just saw another present, and it's over there. And this will be our next jigsaw piece because we got all. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. That's, that should be all the presents. So we're gonna go right back to the starting area now, which is over there. We'll turn this in and get the prize for that. Yeah, it should be pretty sweet. But yeah, like I say, we can't get all the jigsaw pieces in this world. But don't worry guys, this is all 100% walkthrough. We will be coming back to it, just like I said as well. I did miss one of the honeycombs from Bubble Goop Swamp. We will be returning to that as well. So there's one present. How do I... I just... Oh, do I just... Yeah, like that. There we are. I just throw it out. Good stuff. It throws out a Mackley, apparently. Nice. This is our next jigsaw piece. Very nice. So, let's just have a general look around. There is something you can do where you transform into a walrus, which is pretty cool. Um, well, there is quite a lot to do. I'm going to probably want to get some more red feathers and stuff as well. Uh, do a little bit of flying, get some, save some Jinjos. 
and just generally get some stuff along the way. So, we're gonna head up here, get some notes, get some gingos, uh, see if we can get up here without falling off. I normally mess this up, as you can see there, but we did get another mumbo token, which is pretty swifty. So, we'll get all of these. Ah, there's another mumbo token up there as well. I wanna get, we get all these notes. We do have to get all 100 notes. I know one of the, the things we're doing on this run, so. More feathers, very important. Yes. I really don't want to fall down here, but let's see. Oh, okay, come on, come on, you can go. You know what? Come on, we can do this. Oh, I did not mean to do that though. That was a total accident. Even still, we might as well use it to our advantage. Okay, you know what, we can't. Um, didn't mean to do that either. God, this is going badly. This is going really badly. Fly back over. I'm just going to get all the notes and stuff. Um, drop down here. I do want to fly eventually, but like I say, we are going to need more red feathers. Yeah, done what I want to anyway. So, so we can fly up here. Okay, we're up, we're up, okay. Use Kazooie's Talon Trot. We're going to Banjo Cam. Be very careful here. You do that? Okay, good. We'll get our first Jinjo. We haven't actually got any Jinjos yet. So there's Jinjo number one, pretty sweet. Then I'm going to use Kazooie's Talon Trot. I'm going to go look around for some more stuff, more Jinjos and the like. More notes, more everything. So, yep, get some more notes over here. We'll have a look up here. Oh, there's the walrus. So, the only way you can get the Jiggy from that walrus is by turning into a walrus. I'm just going to use this talent truck. I, I was certain you could do that. I was certain you could get across there. In fact, I'm sure I've done it before anyway. Okay, cool, so we're back, right, uh, let's get some more jigsaw pieces, I'm sure, well, at the minute we're not really going for jigsaw pieces, we're going for notes and gingers. Um, there's only so much you can do as Banjo on this level, obviously eventually we will have to become a walrus, but let's just get the most of what we can as Banjo while we can. Probably be climbing up to the snowman as well. All right, fellas, there is another Jinjo, pretty sweet. And there's another one there. Nice. And there's a fly, there is actually a fly pad there. Uh, but never mind, now we know. Anything over here? Okay, great stuff. Uh, can we? Yep, very nice. 66 notes so far. We are going to need a lot more than 66 notes. So I'm going to attempt at least to make my way up the snowman now. And I'm going to do it the proper way instead of flying up because I want some of the red feathers and stuff that you can get. So we'll get all this stuff as well actually. Nice. We'll head up here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I fell down, I fell down, I fell down. Ah, that wasn't too punishing actually. To be fair, that was alright. Oh, oh. oh dear. Right. Kill him. Nice. You know, my quest to get more health is going very, very badly. Now we are. Probably cost me more than I gained, really. But there's a lot more red feathers and notes up here. I'm not really sure if you have to use Kazooie's Talon Trot to get up here, but I always do anyway. Now we know there's a Jinjo, like kind of up on a little platform on his own up here somewhere. So we're gonna see if we can rescue him. And we're getting replenished on red feathers as well, which is very really cool. Five, six, six. If I get all 100 notes, like that's the priority really now. Because uh, if I don't want to lose the level, uh, leave the level and lose all my progress. So I think we got all of them there in this area. Yeah, we did. Absolutely, we did. So there's another Jinjo over there, as you can see. 
and I may end up having to fly over to him. So now we'll jump up here. Oh no, oh no, that is going to punish me. That is really going to punish me unless I can... I might be able to save this. Okay, I can't save it. Right, okay, instead of making you guys go through all that watching me go back up, I'll just cut it out. Okay, we're back uh, up here. So, I'm gonna just try this again. Okay, uh, I'm not very good at this apparently. I actually want to be over that side to be honest. Um, there we are, right. So, there is a jigsaw piece in here. Very nice, that's Jiggy number six. Okay, let's see if we can get one of the Jinjos now. Uh, we'll fly back over here, hopefully. Yep, there we are. And we'll jump up here. Okay, so over here, and there's a fly pad. So I have to be very careful I don't mess this up. Should be able to just fly down here. There we are. And there's our next Jinjo. So I think what we'll do now is we'll go over to Mumbo's house and we will try the uh, walrus race. There's two jigsaw pieces that I can get as a walrus, I think. There might be three, but I'm... no, there is two you can get yet. So we're just gonna fall down here. And we'll enter Mumbo's house. It's just over here. So I think ideally we should use the flying pad just so we don't get too much damage. Uh, just up here. There we are. And we'll backflip up here. And we've got another Mumbo token as well, which is pretty sweet. I think I should have enough. Really hope I've got enough anywhere. We'll go through here. And you only need 15, so that's pretty sweet. There is another Jinjo up here, as we just heard him. So let's see if we can get up here. Come on, Banjo, you can do it. Yeah, I'll probably have to backflip up there. And then backflip again. There we are. Get that Jinjo. Very nice. Is that all the notes? That's all the notes. That's 87 so far. Pretty sweet. We'll turn into a walrus. Nice. But yeah, there is quite a few things you can do as a walrus. Um, but first, I think I'll we'll probably get all the notes and stuff. Um, okay, I'm really bad at updating these totals. I think I put it to 46 instead of 49. Uh, but we fixed it now anyway. The good thing about the walrus is he can traverse through the water without getting hurt. Which is really handy because we're going to need it to get some more notes. Uh, which are just over here. Base 89. Nearly got them all now. There's probably going to be like one or two I won't be able to find. But I think they're actually in the walrus's like house area igloo thing, whatever it is. It's like a cave, I think, actually. We'll get this while we're here. Nice. And that's one of the honeycomb pieces as well. So let's go over now and I think probably the first one we'll probably get is just off the walrus. Um, he just gives you one because he's a nice guy, I guess. Uh, we'll see if there's any more notes as well because I'm really keen to get all 100 before I do anything else. So let's just have a quick look up here. Yeah, the walrus, he goes very slowly, obviously. Uh, let's see, where is the walrus race? Down here, I believe, actually, yeah. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, the walrus is so slow. I think probably my favourite transformation is the bee, because you can fly about and stuff, like, without using 
Any feathers? Where is this walrus? Must be over the other side. Oh yeah, I can actually see his cave from here to be fair, so... I probably should have known that. So he'll give me one jigsaw piece just because he's a nice guy. And then I have to do the walrus race, and that'll be another jigsaw piece. And then the last one I can get on this level is from getting all the gingos. And I think there's only one left to get, actually. So first of all, we'll deal with this walrus. Yeah, he doesn't like... He doesn't like banjo. We'll head through here. And that's jigsaw piece number 51. Which is actually where I got up to uh, last time. So we're going to have a little bit of an investigate through here. There is a Jinjo. I, I think I remember where it is actually, but I think you have to be Banjo to get him. So he's in this cave, I think, as well. So um, now we'll head through here. And we'll probably have to come back as Banjo and get the last Jigsaw piece. Just through here. And there's another honeycomb piece. Nice. Okay, so there isn't actually any more notes here. I thought there was, but there isn't, so never mind. Some silver feathers, and there's a life there as well I want to get. That's going to be handy, probably when fighting Gruntilda, because she might kill me. Nice, nice. Okay, now that we have that, let's go do the walrus race. Okay, so I think what we have to do now is we're going to have to turn back into Banjo. kind of done this in a little bit of a wrong order. We should have really talked to the walrus before I think about it. Yeah, we turned into walrus, but never mind. So I'm going to go back to Mumbo. Uh, turn back into Banjo. And get the last Jinjo, do the walrus race. And that'll pretty much be it for this level. There is a few more notes I need to get, so we'll probably have to see if we can find them as well. I don't actually know where they are, but they'll be around here somewhere. Um, always annoying when there's like the last few notes that you can't seem to find. But they'll more than likely just be in the water or something, so not really a big deal. But we'll find them. But I'm going to be becoming a walrus again soon enough anyway, so I'm not really worried for now. So let's go over here. And we're going to turn back into Banjo. Turn me back. Thank you. Nice. Okay, pretty sweet. So, we'll put on the running shoes. Or the boots, anyway. And it'll just help us get back across without getting hurt, basically. As you can see, you don't really get a lot of time to use these. Cool. So, I'll head back over to the walrus. Uh, that didn't like me very much. And we'll go and get the last Jinjo. And then we'll probably have to go do the walrus race as well. In fact, before we go over to the walrus, I'm gonna go. How many times have I said walrus? Like 600 times. Yeah, okay, Banjo's taking quite a bit of damage here. Um, we'll go back over here and see if we can trigger this race. Is it up here? Could be up here now? Okay, he's not up there. Which means he is over at the race podiums. I think. Strange how I can't actually find him now. But he'll turn up somewhere, no doubt. But yeah, let's go get the last Jinjo. It's just through here. And the walrus doesn't like me, so yeah. 
that is the last ginger. Nice. And as, if you can see, there's a key through there. Uh, I can't really remember how to get that, but I'm sure we can get that at some point. So, let's go do the race now, at long last. And... Yeah, that'll be the last jigsaw piece on this level. Um, so if I backtrack, the race comes along here. So, really, it should... If I follow the race backwards, I should be able to find the start area for it. I'll have to get these honeycombs, because I've taken quite a bit of damage. Hopefully the last one is in the water, good. Yeah, the race comes along here, I believe. And if it's not up there. We already tried that. Let's try this way. Ah, here it is. And that looks like the last of the notes as well. Sorry, you're too big for my sled. You can only race someone smaller. Yep, I know that. 98. And there's all 100 notes. So we found 100 notes for this level. Great stuff. So we'll go back over here. Turn back in Aurorus again. Sorry, I'm doing things a little um, in a not very efficient order, but that's okay. Oh, missed it again. Oh, missed it again. Again, there we are. Fly back over to Mumbo, turn back into the walrus. And then we'll do the race. And that'll be the last thing to do in this level. Nice. Oh, it's actually quite hard, this race. Oh, turn me into a walrus. Do it now. Here we go. I always love when Mumbo does that. I only just noticed as well he's wearing a mask. I thought his head was just like a skull, but yeah, he's wearing a skull mask. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, really. And we begin the slow walk back. I think there's actually a Mumbo token somewhere in the water. But... Probably won't need it. Maybe. Maybe we will. We need to get lots of Mumbo tokens in this game. Is it up here? Watch me forget where. Oh, here it is. Cool. So, right, let's try this. Okay, let's see if we can do this walrus race. It's actually really hard. Um, hopefully, we can. Yep, there we are. Alright. So, the objective here is to basically get through the Shalom Gates and beat him to the end. It sounds simple, but it's actually quite hard. Um, I'm not sure if it's rigged like with a rubber band mechanic, so if you're winning, he will speed up. I don't really know. Seems like he sped up there, though. I'm gonna try jumping a little bit, see if that helps. No, it doesn't seem to help. Uh, now he's in the lead. As long as I can keep up with him should be able to win this. I think he speeds up and slows down throughout the race. That's how it works. Oh dear. We're going to have to catch up here quite a bit. Oh no. Yeah, we have to go faster yet. Right, let's see if we can do this. It's actually really difficult. Okay, it's going okay so far. He's taking over again. I think he might have pushed me out of the way there, to be honest. But yeah, we're catching up to him slowly. The annoying thing is as well, he can't lose. Like, he will always go the correct way. So we have to be careful not to knock it up like we did there. We'll try jumping past him. Do that gate. Okay. okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, only just. Only just. But we did it, and a win's a win. 
Oh, well, that was difficult. Nice. So that's our next jigsaw piece. And that's jigsaw piece number nine. Uh, we are going to get one more in this episode. It's the hidden jiggy that was um, spawned by the grunty switch. And there's a mumbo token here. If you want to hear that, I know it was one somewhere. I'm going to go back, uh, turn back into Banjo, because we're going to need to be to get that hidden jiggy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the level done. There's one more to get in this level, but we can't, or I'm not really going to try it till we get the running shoes anyway. We'll turn back into Banjo, head back outside, and get the last one. Nice. So I'm gonna head back out of this level now guys and I'll catch up with you when you get outside. Okay, so I just realized that uh, we can't actually get the last jiggy quite just yet until we get the running shoes. But there is a mumbo token that we can get up here or we end today's episode. Uh, we already got apparently. Yeah, there's a mumbo token up here, I think. I think I might have already just got it when I was having a look around. Um, no, no, it's up there. There we are. And that will pretty much do for today's episode. Next time, we're going to tackle the next level, which I believe will be Bobby's Valley. I just want to thank you all very much for watching today. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave it in the comments if you do have any. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.